21 years old, Emily Brooks wasn't just overweight. She was morbidly obese. I started to reach the kinds of weights and the kind of pant sizes that, you know, you don't, most people don't even know exist. Now Emily is down to 168 pounds, but she didn't lose the weight by dieting. Emily took a more drastic approach to weight loss, gastric bypass surgery. You have a new stomach. Dr. Constantine Franziti has been performing gastric bypass surgery for the past 20 years. It has been shown not only by one study, by many studies, that 95% uh, of patients, that they diet and exercise, they won't be able to maintain a weight that is acceptable. Only surgery is effective in reducing weight and maintaining the loss of weight. To be a candidate for gastric bypass, a person must be more than 100 pounds overweight or have a body mass index more than 40. The BMI is a person's weight in pounds divided by height in inches squared. That number is then multiplied by 730. During the operation, the surgeon uses staples to create a small pouch at the top of the stomach. The pouch can only hold one ounce of food at a time, dramatically reducing the patient's food intake. Next, the doctor attaches the pouch to the lower part of the small intestine. This bypass reduces the amount of calories and nutrients the body absorbs. After surgery, the patient must stay in the hospital from two to five days, and recovery usually takes a few weeks. Gastric bypass is not the only surgical option available, but Dr. Branziti says it is the safest. The surgery that has been done the longest, it has been uh, tested in many different ways and has withstood the, st the test of time as far as consistency in losing weight and maintaining the loss of weight. The and this was the most proactive thing I'd ever done about my weight. I've never worked harder in my life. This has been my miracle.